Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. So a common question that I've been receiving lately down in the comments is, Dev, can you show us more budget-friendly hotels near the theme parks? Well, today I'm going to show you my top five budget-friendly hotels that are right next to the theme parks that include some really good amenities such as included transportation to the theme parks, included breakfast, no resort fees, etc. I stayed up late last night doing my research for this video and I've also stayed in a few of these hotels that I will be showing you today. Now something that I want you guys to keep in mind during today's video as far as pricing, when you're staying at a Walt Disney World Resort or when you're staying at a Universal Orlando Hotel, you're paying to have that convenience on your vacation and more than likely having that convenience is worth the price that you pay and then you get the best of the best perks and benefits like direct transportation to the theme parks and early entry to those theme parks as well. As of this recording, which is July 2023, the most affordable hotel at Walt Disney World is Disney's All-Star Sports Resort. And right now, a standard room is going for $174 per night, and that does not include any of the discounts that Disney is currently offering. And currently over at Universal Orlando, the most affordable hotel, which is Universal's Endless Summer Resort, Dockside Inn and Suites, a room is going for $109.45, and that does not include any of their promotions or discounts that they are offering right now. And something else to keep in mind, if you're looking to book a Universal Orlando hotel, right now they are offering 25% off their premier hotels, and their premier hotels include included express passes for everybody in your party for every single day of your visit. Something else to keep in mind. Anyway, this video is going to be all about my top five budget-friendly hotels that are near Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, and SeaWorld Orlando. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop in the car and get things going. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, my first stop is here at True by Hilton. This is a pretty new hotel. It's not that old. This is a Universal Orlando Partner Hotel. This hotel is five minutes away from SeaWorld Orlando, another five minutes away from the Orange County Convention Center, which is just right over there, as you guys can see. And then it's about 10 minutes away from Universal Orlando, and let's just say about 15 minutes away from Walt Disney World. On-site parking is $15 per day, but when I stayed here, which was not that long ago, parking was free. Pets are allowed here at this hotel, with a $50 non-refundable fee. Two pet max, dog or cat only. Something that I really like about this hotel, you do have the option for a late checkout. So if you have a later flight, you don't have to worry. It is $15 and then after 1 p.m., $15 per hour. After 4 p.m., full day rate. Your stay here includes free hot breakfast, free Wi-Fi, non-smoking rooms, outdoor pool, fitness center, pet-friendly rooms, and a business center. The current pricing for a one king bedroom starts from $118, and then if you would like a two queen bedroom, it starts from $128. And something else to keep in mind, this hotel has a four and a half star rating out of five. If you have been keeping up with the channel, you should know you Usually when we travel, I normally stay at a Hilton hotel just because I am a Hilton Honors member. I'm almost diamond and that's something to keep in mind when traveling here. Most hotels offer some kind of a reward program like here at Hilton. They offer Hilton Honors and this is a way to save you a little bit of money and you can stack your points that will turn into a free stay if you have any kind of credit cards that offer travel points with hotels. You can stack your points and use them for free nights as well. That's what I do. And I just have a lot of trust in the Hilton brand, the staff. They're usually very friendly. The hotels are very well kept and clean. They offer some good amenities and I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind. Next up, right down the road from True by Hilton, I am now here at Hilton Garden Inn at SeaWorld and this is a SeaWorld Orlando Partner Hotel, which includes included shuttle pickup to and from SeaWorld from this hotel. That is a really good perk to have. And then you have a 7-Eleven right across the street. The Orange County Convention Center is about five minutes away. SeaWorld 
maybe five minutes. Fun fact, if you stay here and if you request a theme park view on the back side of this hotel, you can actually see SeaWorld from your hotel room and you can see the fireworks on the weekends. SeaWorld is just right down this road and then you can hop on I-4 right here that will get you directly over to Walt Disney World and then Universal is again about 10 minutes away. This is a really good prime location to be in. Also this hotel offers late checkout as well for $75. On-site parking goes for $12 per day. This hotel is pet friendly and you do have to pay a $75 non-refundable fee. Current pricing for a one king bedroom starts at $108 and for a two queen bedroom it starts from again $108 pretty affordable here. This hotel does offer suites like a one king bedroom suite with a sofa bed starts from $142 and then for a two queen bedroom suite with a sofa bed it starts at $158. This hotel has a 4.1 star rating out of 5. Also the Vineland Outlet Mall is not that far away and that's the outlet mall that's closest to Walt Disney World. I almost forgot to mention over at the True by Hilton and then here at at the Hilton Garden Inn, SeaWorld Orlando, there's no resort fee at all. The hotel is right behind me, and then you have SeaWorld Orlando right there. That's the main parking lot. I am so excited to share this next hotel with you because this is a brand new hotel. It's only been open for just a few months now. We're pretty much on Walt Disney World property. Disney Springs is just right down the street here, and you can find some great perks, benefits, and amenities by staying here. And I am here at the Drury Plaza Hotel. Check-in is at 4 p.m. Check-out is at 11 a.m. You do have the option for early check-in for $50. Parking is $25 per night. The current pricing for a one king bed deluxe is going for $152.99 a night. This hotel does offer a reward program. And if you are a member, you can save a little bit of money. And then for a two queen bedroom with a terrace, it's going for a $175.49 or if you are a reward member it's going for $171.49. As I'm walking through the hotel right now getting some b-roll I just love this place so much it's so quiet it's so brand new there's so much to do there's so much going on and I kind of feel like I'm at a Disney World hotel even though this isn't an official Disney World Hotel. It's a good neighbor hotel. And funny story, I was actually invited here twice for a preview. Both times I've had something else going on, but I really want to stay here soon. They even have a concierge service. So if you're staying here, if you need to purchase Disney World tickets, or if you have any questions, you can come right here and they will take care of you. There's a coffee bar 24 seven, an ATM. Yeah, this place is cool. And then there's an arcade over here as well. Another thing to keep in mind if you're looking to stay here, you get to enjoy free hot breakfast every single day with a 5.30 kickback with evening snacks and cold beverages, which includes adult beverages. You get free Wi-Fi and there's several dining options as well. And then out back you have a salt water pool. The 5.30 kickback starts at 5.30 and it goes through 7.30 p.m. every evening. This hotel is located just half a mile from Disney Springs. The Drury also offers free shuttle service to all four Walt Disney World theme parks. Did I mention this place has no resort fee? This hotel is a Disney Springs Resort Area Hotel and it's an official good neighbor hotel of Walt Disney. Disney World. And the Drury has a 4.8 star rating out of 5. That's pretty dang good. Well, I was hoping to dodge the bad weather today, but unfortunately, it's here and it's raining and thundering as I am making my way over to our next hotel. I did make a quick stop here to Disney Springs to pick up some chocolate to surprise Bianca later from the Ganachery. This is our favorite chocolate ever. It's so dang good. And then I bought a new corksicle. All right, now that the rain has moved away, it is time to finish out today's video with my top two picks regarding budget-friendly hotels near the theme parks. Right now, I'm in a brand new area called Flamingo crossings. This is actually where the college program cast members live. We are right outside of the west entrance to Walt Disney World, pretty much right outside of the Grand Destino Tower in Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, right off the 429. Like I said, we are very close to Disney World. 
maybe 30 minutes away from Universal Orlando and another 30 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport and maybe 20 to 25 minutes away from SeaWorld Orlando. This place is called Homewood Suites by Hilton. Yes, another Hilton. It is right next door to Home 2 Suites by Hilton. I'm just such a fan of Hilton's and I can't recommend them enough. But check this place out. It's fairly brand new, it's very nice, and from what I can read, it looks like parking is free and there's no resort fee, but check this out. Right over here, there's just plenty of shopping and dining options. You have a Target within walking distance right there. There's a Starbucks, a Five Guys, and then like I said, Disney World is just right over here. This hotel has a four and a half star rating out of five. And what I really like about this hotel, you have spacious rooms, which are suites, and it comes with fully equipped kitchens and breakfast is included every single morning. Also, if you want early check-in or late checkout, well, they don't charge you here if it's available. The current pricing for a one king bedroom suite, non-smoking starts at $183. And then you have a two queen, one bedroom suite starting at $201. And then you have a one king studio suite starting at $164. You get a free hot breakfast, of course, like I mentioned, free Wi-Fi, non-smoking rooms, an outdoor pool, fitness center, pet friendly rooms, and a business center. This hotel is a Disney World good neighbor hotel as well. And finally, for my number one pick for budget friendly hotels that are near the theme parks, I'm right next door at the Fairfield Inn and Suites Orlando at Flamingo Crossings Town Center. This hotel offers included shuttle service to Walt Disney World. Now keep in mind, it does say select Walt Disney World theme parks in the Ticket and Transportation Center, but regardless, it will get you over to Disney World and then from there, you can go wherever you need to go. This place offers a free hot breakfast daily, which includes Mickey Waffles. This Fairfield Inn has a 4.7 star rating out of five. This is another good neighbor Disney World hotel. On-site parking is $10 per day, and this hotel does offer a parking garage. The current rate for a two queen room is going for $114 a night. And then for a larger room, and this is a corner room with two queen beds, it is going for $139 per night. Now the Fairfield Inn is a Marriott hotel so if you are a bon voyage member i think that's what they call their reward program you can save a little bit of money all right my friends those are my top five picks for budget friendly hotels that are near the theme parks a lot of them were close by to walt disney world and then we were by SeaWorld Orlando. Then we were kind of close to Universal Orlando with hotels near Universal Orlando. It's pretty close to International Drive. I don't really know of any nice, clean, budget-friendly hotels. So I would recommend if you want to stay by Universal Orlando, maybe just consider staying on property at like one of the endless summer resorts or Aventura or Cabana Bay. Those are really good options. I will say if you're looking to stay very close to Walt Disney World but not on property, these two hotels right behind me, very good choices. I do have a stay coming up at one of these hotels, so definitely stay tuned for that video. Also, the Drury right by Disney Springs, another fantastic option. And then the few Hilton hotels I showed you today, other great options. I'm sure I missed a few budget-friendly good hotels nearby, but those are my top five picks. Also, I do have a full detailed playlist where I went to other budget-friendly hotels within the theme park area. If you want to check that out to have some more options and some more information, I'll be sure to leave that link down below. I've also stayed at one of the Disney All-Star Resorts, which is their most affordable hotel right now. I'll leave that link down below. And then I've also stayed over at Universal Land in their most affordable hotel which is the endless summer resort and i'll be sure to leave that link down below as well there's a ton of options and let me know down below in the comments have you ever stayed at any of the five hotels that i showed you today did you like it did you hate it do you have any more information that you would like to add leave me a comment help other people out and then if there's any other hotels that you would like me to check out as well leave me a comment Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming.